Notts County talk, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joined by Jordan for the player ratings. George is away, so Jordan's going to step in. Um, great, great performance and win. Yeah, you can't really say much else better than that, can you? It was good, good finishing. We took our, our chances when we could yeah. um, and we didn't concede. So Exactly. Right, let's get on uh, with the goalkeeper, McDonnell. Uh, I'm going to give him a six. He didn't have much to do and his distribution was poor. Yeah. I mean, you can't really judge him much. There wasn't really much to judge him on. Um, he seemed like he had his goal covered. He knew what he was doing and stuff. And a um, few easy, kind of normal bits for a keeper, but nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, he's, he looks a bit frightened whenever the ball comes to him. He just flashes at it and kicks it away in the, whatever direction it Missing goes. Missing slogan, really. big time. Big yeah. Time. Um, maybe it's something they can work on with his kick in because I think we do rely on that distribution to yeah, get our yeah, game going and yeah. keep that possession when we need it most right? yeah exactly uh, let's go right back Kelly Evans what are you giving him um, I'm going to go six, seven seven for Kelly Evans yeah I'm going to say seven as well I think I thought um, he linked up alright with Osborne um, but there wasn't that there wasn't massive amounts of attacking to do but I suppose the game was won by by the second goal really so yeah I think he got forward well stretched it um was always kept going until the last minute. Typical and Kelly. And always getting stuck in, and I felt like he kept the tempo high like, the whole game. I think he put in a really good performance. I'd say, I'd say seven. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. go across to Bagan, the left back. I was really excited to see him. First half was great. Second half he came out a bit shaky. Yeah. Uh, Bagan, I'm gonna have to go six and a half. I'd agree. Six and a half sounds about right. There was a few passes where there was a bit misplaced or. Uh, a few tackles where he could have done a bit better um, but I love the way he gets forward when he's on the ball he, yeah. he looks like he Cuts always in. is coming forward with the ball looking to attack um, and yeah when he does cut in it's not like he, we lose the width because we still have someone on the wing stretching it so it just means that the defenders don't really know what to do because <laughs> they've got a guy coming no. at them and exactly. they've also got to mark so I like like the way he looks uh, six and a half yeah centre backs then uh, we've got Rawlinson and Long who I didn't think played very well against Hartlepool you weren't at that game um, no one played well against Hartlepool but <sighs> Rawlinson apart from his back heel to try and find McDonnell <laughs> I don't think they had much to do that was a bit of a mick take I know we're three up but yeah it was I, 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 don't I can't remember tricky. seeing Lang on the ball that much, to be, to be honest. No, I think that they dealt with, to be fair, their striker's got 25 goals and 17 assists. Yeah. They, they, they were never troubled. I know they shouldn't be, but... Yeah, I mean, the it did look like in a lower league you would probably get on the end of stuff. You had a bit more energy than his part, striking partner. Yeah. Um, but I think we knew how to deal with him quite well and yeah. we just shut them out of the game from, the stri from a striking point of view. I don't think they had anything ready to go off. Um, Rollinson does what Rollinson does. I'd say, um, I don't know if you can give him more than six and a half, seven maybe. I'm going to go, I'm going to go sevens for both. Yeah. Seven for Just both. Just because they're solid. Yeah. Uh, now, further up the pitch, decent, decent performances. Um, let's go with uh, Sam Osborne. I'd go six and a half seven I'm going to seven and a half yeah. uh, outside of the foot shot if that had gone it's <laughs> okay stunning. we'll go I'll, I'll say seven right I'll say seven. Um, he, looked, he looked leggy yeah he did towards I think the last 20 minutes um, still whenever he gets on the ball it looks like he can do something I think I don't know if because he'd been out a bit or not played as much he maybe was trying a bit hard to to do a bit more than normal or because there was lower league I don't know yeah. so there was some times where he found it difficult to get past his man and maybe should have tried something a bit different but he still got a goal in mm. and um, good goal well, well set up yeah and still had some chances and still even though he found it difficult to beat his man um, I think he did then start coming inside and got yeah, a bit yeah. more luck so right. yeah seven. I thought it was good, it was good to see him play uh, other wing we've well shouldn't really be saying wing but we've got Jim O'Brien um, oh, it's so difficult I, he scored a goal from about 30 yards, it shouldn't have been a goal. No, uh, where's the really sun score. coming from? <laughs> Just had <laughs> snow a minute ago. Um, we needed that. Yeah. In the, in the ground. Um, but yeah, O'Brien. Six. 
Yeah, some of his passing was not great today. I can't remember really a completed pass that he made. No. That was more than 10 yards. So you're going lower than the 6? No, I'll stay with a 6. But, I mean, it's just difficult. I feel like if he performed like that in a league game, Be it out. would lose... Yeah, it would cost us because it gave away possession a lot. And against a team that would probably keep the possession better than Averley, yeah. uh, it would find it tough. Agreed. So, uh, he came. He did better when he came in the centre, mm. when where he should be playing. And I, I think all oh, because he's played on the left before doesn't mean he oh, should, do he it should again. play on the left. So he's spot on. Yeah, I don't think it works. Um, we've got Doyle. Didn't didn't play that much. Did everything okay. I'm just going to give him Doyle a six. I don't think he was bad. Don't think he was he was fantastic. His usual range of passing for me was was good. He gets stuck in. He held his tempo well today because there were a few times yeah. where they left one in late. I think. I mean. I think maybe went on. I think he goes a bit unnoticed. I think he did still put in a really good performance. He still drives the team. Um, I'd probably give him a seven, to be honest. I know he hasn't stood out, yeah. but I think just for his general work ethic and what he does and recycles possession really well, I think he deserves a seven. So someone that did stand out, Tom Crawford. Yeah. I said I wanted him to start after the 15-minute cameo he had against Hartlepool, where he was class when he came on. Maybe that, that's why he got the start. You never know. They might have listened to me. You know? <laughs> I'm giving him a nine. Hey, listen, he was, listen he was to your great. Chat and was like, oh, I'll Tom pick knows the, what he's I'll about. pick the team. Um, nine. You just like him because he's called Tom. No, no, no. That's only half of it. But <laughs> nine. Yeah. Okay. okay. He, he scored, didn't he? Yeah, he scored. Yeah. He scored a nice goal. Um, he battled for everything. He was all over the pitch. Solid, solid performance. And I don't know where he'd fit into the team, but he's got to be knocking on the door. Yeah, uh, it's difficult because you've got obviously Brian O'Brien Doyle. Rose, Crawford, a lot of a lot of people. He's there. not going to get him, but what are you giving him? Uh, it's not going to be as high as a nine, is it? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I think you, for a nine, it's got to be style form. Justified man of the match. It's got to look like Ronaldo. Justified man of the match. Yeah, we've given we've given tens out on this, so um, yeah, yeah, definitely. He's good. He, he, he good. did stand out as the best player today. Uh, um, and he probably should get a, a chance going forward. Yeah. Someone else that stood out for me is purely work rate, Dennis. Yeah. He was dropping in and picking up the ball. I said to you, he looked like a false nine at, at times. Yeah. Um, helped us build from from the back and kind of gain it and go forward. Otherwise, with that gap, we wouldn't have been able to. It was everywhere. Spread it. Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him a seven and a half, even though he, he didn't get a goal, did he? I'm no, sure he didn't get a goal, so. but a seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Seven and a half. He yeah. He, I think linking up with the midfield and defence just making sure we get hold of the ball when it gets cleared and stuff like that um, without that today I don't think we would have really got as many chances so that's seven and a half and then that just leaves us with Wooten seven and a half again for me held the ball up well dominated their strikers and just yeah. laid it off simple that's what he's there to finished do finished well to be fair I, I'm, I think maybe an eight he could have he, he could have gone and put the amount of time he had on the ball he could have gone and put the kettle on <laughs> made himself oh, a cup of tea half, yeah come back out on the pitch and finished it <laughs> yeah I think he did seem to like to take a few more touches today than normal but um, seven and a half eight I think those the front two uh, with Crawford um, and, and the back four we, we look, we did look really solid today yeah. I know we're playing obviously opposition that's a lot lower than us um, but you've still got to do the basics right and Spot I think on, yeah. against Hartlepool maybe from what I heard we didn't do the basics right Definitely so it was good not. to just get that under our belt and get back to kind of how we know we can play very very quickly the subs um, you've got Wilson seven did his goal not much else to feed off agreed yeah seven um, can't really give him much higher than that he came on he looked like he's up for a battle and I know in the league we're in you need players that are up for a battle and yeah. I was a bit worried like oh we're getting another striker and what's it going to be like and he, he seemed well. yeah it seemed like he'll fit in to be fair exactly so. um, and then we've got Shields a uh, bit that stands out for me is he won it in the middle of the park and took on about four players decent not much else six yeah six six and a half maybe he was making some good runs I don't think he was being picked out as much as he would have liked but he was stretching and getting yeah, on the yeah. getting on the line quite well um but I just think he wasn't picking him out and he could have probably got higher score than that and yeah. done more but 
he looked like he was he was up for it. Um, um, so six and a half. Final sub was Betts. Betts. What did to shoot? He no. should have just shot. If, if he shot there, nothing to go off. That's Carly Legend. Nothing to go off. You'd be doing a video in about a year or two, and you'd be doing that Legend or yeah, Legend. And he'd fit in legend. straight away if he scored then. Just to make it that 6 0 against Avery. Yeah. <laughs> um, George, obviously, not here today. Uh, the only games he's missed this season, we've won 5 0 today, 5 1 against Chorley, and 2 1, oh, sorry, 1 0, I think, away at Solihull. So we'll do our best to keep him off the channel because 100% win rate without him. <laughs> um, he can come back next season. But uh, yeah, so we're in the semi finals of the FA Trophy, a uh, competition that a lot of fans didn't have expectations for, but it's turned out to be really really enjoyable lots of good home performances and uh, obviously away at Yeovil so leave uh, any of your scores for the players in the comment section below